Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please click that subscribe button down below. And remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. So again, I've mentioned this before, I am a new rider. Uh, basically, my riding experience is what I have on this bike. And at this point in time, that is 3,573 miles. So 3,500 miles is the level of experience that I have. So one of the things that happened to me is, well, I'll tell you to be totally honest with you, fucking terrifying. And I figured I'll share it with uh, everybody, especially anybody out there who is a newer rider who might experience this exact same situation. So for me, I'm riding down the highway here and you know, at this point, I'm, not, I'm gonna wait to do this when I'm not in such heavy traffic. If you're riding down the highway and something happens where you accidentally hit your kill switch, well, what happens? Now this happened to me kind of like in a weird situation and you'll find as a new rider, you're kind of fumbling around sometimes with the controls as you're starting to familiarize yourself with the bike. And I also presume this, this probably happens uh, to people jumping from manufacturer to manufacturer where things are moved around on you a little bit. It takes a little while to get the motor skills down and in the process as you're looking over your shoulders and you know you're you're changing lanes you might go to change lanes and it's, I don't even know exactly how I did it but probably just changing grips and somehow trip that kill switch. So it's, it's super uncomfortable, and, and I'll show you here as I get up around this truck. Uh, as you're riding on the highway, and you hit that kill switch, all of a sudden, your bike dies. You lose propulsion, and you're like, oh shit. So just, it's as simple as that. You panic for a second because, <laughs> to be honest with you, it, just, it scares the shit out of you. But kind of the same thing applies to any other vehicle. Um, that is like a manual stick shift. So I've known this in the past just from having buddies when I was like a teenager in high school who would have a stick shift car and something would happen where their starter dies or basically their car is a big heaping pile of crap. So your buddies have to get out, push it, and what you do is you pop the clutch. What that does is it just turns the motor with the wheel. So as you're riding, basically your motor can be turned by all of the parts and pieces of your bike. So I don't recommend doing this on purpose like I've done here, but as you can see, you kill it, you lose propulsion, you have nothing, turn it back on, and then spark is back to the spark plugs and the bike starts to move again. So it is really unnerving the first time it happens and your first thought process is like, oh no, what is coming up behind me? I'm about to get run over. Uh, so, it, it is a very, very unnerving thing to have happen, uh, but at least in my situation, in my experience, is that if you hit that kill switch, just fire it back over to start again, and uh, it, it, it'll just, the bike will just turn itself back over because of the propulsion uh, that, you know, the bike is already under. So, uh, if it happens, your bike is not going to lock up, your back tire is not going to just seize up and put you into an uncontrollable skid and lay you on the floor. If you do it at low speeds, uh, now you're kind of under a, a different physics rule where you may not have enough propulsion to keep that tire uh, moving and keep everything, uh, you know, especially in these higher compression motors, in motion. So if you do that at five miles an hour, there is a good chance that your bike is, is gonna lock up on you and uh, send your gonads straight into the tank. And that will not be a good day. Uh, I just wanted to share that with my viewers because to be honest with you, that was something that I wasn't prepared for. Uh, you go through these MSF courses, which I highly recommend anybody who's gonna go through and get your motorcycle license, go to the MSF course. Uh, it will prevent you from completely panicking in the state of uh, something like that. You know, at least it, it should help you keep a level head and uh, help you be prepared for those types of situations. But I was not prepared for the up, I accidentally hit the kill switch while I was doing 80 miles an hour down the highway, uh, am I going to die moment. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. 
uh, if you hit the kill switch, you are not going to die. Uh, just turn the bike back on. You don't need to pull off to the side of the highway, cause a big hubbub behind you, potentially get rear-ended and be killed. Uh, you can just fire it back up. I don't even touch the clutch. Didn't have to pull the clutch in at all, uh, for that matter. So uh, the bike stayed engaged in gear the entire time. And that is the experience that you should have uh, in the event that you do something like that. And, uh, you know, I will do it one more time here for good measure. Hit the kill switch. Lost propulsion, nothing. Turn it back on. Bike fires back up. And there you go. You have your propulsion. So, uh, pretty interesting. Something different. Uh, again, this whole getting on a motorcycle and riding, you will experience a whole bunch of new things. It's kind of what makes it a, a cool experience. Uh, so long as you don't get hurt. So, uh, that's just something I wanted to share with, with my viewers. Something else I nearly experienced was uh, Dan Dan the Fireman actually had a video out the other day showing uh, he was teaching uh, a girl, a woman, I don't know, uh, I don't know her name, I had to, t teaching her how to ride and she was coming to a stop. She did exactly what they tell you in the MSF courses not to do, which is not a slight on her by no means. It's just as a new rider, you're going to do things and you're going to learn from those mistakes. And what she did was she grabbed the front brake, and I mean grabbed it. So at like two miles an hour, she grabs it, front end of the bike dips, and basically just the way that a motorcycle works is that when that front end dips at low speeds, it wants to turn to the right or left, and it wants to take itself down to the ground, and that's exactly in her situation what happened. Now, difference is I'm six foot two, 220 pounds, and when mine dipped like that, uh, I was able to, to hold it up and prevent it from hitting the ground. It was not easy, but I was able to do so. That's really, really wild. That's pretty cool. That dude's setup is awesome and his mustache is even better. So, you know, there's a lot of things like that, especially at low speeds where you're extremely uncomfortable. Uh, that you're going to do things like grab the brake and the front of the bike's going to dip and want to drop. Uh, a couple times you might put the kickstand down and have to double check because you realize, you know, you might think it's not down, you're just going to drop your bike. But it's all fun, uh, part of the fun of learning. Uh, granted, you don't get hurt. And again, this is just that, that kill switch thing was something I wanted to share with my viewers because I haven't seen it on YouTube. So if I haven't seen it on YouTube, I might as well put it out there. So, not saying it doesn't exist, it very well might. So, again, thank you very much for watching. If this is your first time tuning in, please click that subscribe button down below. And remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. We will see you next time.